Hey, what's up YouTube? Kenny here. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do Felicia today. Uh, I gotta tell you, at first, uh, first glance, I, was, I, don't, I don't understand really the appeal of Felicia, but then kind of like looking through and doing my reference pictures, I kind of I kind of get an understanding of like why she's a little bit different from uh, a lot of these other characters. So basically, this is a cat. So I started drawing a couple of um, um, forms here. Like I was like, oh man, she's gonna be swiping at something, and then I realized, you know, we gotta accentuate the catness. Like rarely do you ever get a chance to draw a girl and a cat. So. I, feel, I felt like, you know, like a slicing motion, a, a kung fu motion. You get to do that with a lot of different other characters, but, you know, like, very unique to this character is the cat thing, right? So you can make her prowl, you can make her do other stuff. Like, even Catwoman doesn't necessarily take the whole cat thing because she's more human than anything. This character actually has claws and, uh, and hind legs, so... I think, you know, I had to take advantage of that. So you can see here, like, I think when the final thing is her on, on her, uh, her paws, I guess. Uh, so, I mean, I played Dark, Dark Stalkers when I was a kid a little bit. Uh, it wasn't like the game that I loved or anything. I'm like, of course, Morgan is like the main character that everybody knows from that. Like, I don't really, I didn't really ever pick Felicia or anything like that, but Super interesting, actually, after after actually drawing it and going through it, I can kind of get it. Like, I understand, like, and it's actually pretty good, like, the design. Um, yeah, there's, like, a lot of interesting shapes in here and stuff like that. Like, her hair is massive. Um, you can see here I'm just, like, flipping the canvas a lot because it's a really sharp angle um, on this brush. What's interesting here, too, is uh, if you look, I mean, I really like the... Um, the hard edges, like the angular edges on the line, like I don't want to say line work because it's not really line work, but like I like that feel. I really wish it didn't go away, but I don't know. I don't know how to really keep that yet. I know you'd have to like block out those shapes and it's just, it gets rough when you're actually uh, rendering. If you went for inks and I, I, I kept these this line weight, I mean, maybe you could do it, but um, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think you could keep it throughout the whole, um, the whole uh, illustration. The one thing I did really struggle with here, I think I don't, I don't really like the colors, how it really came out. Like, they're decent, but uh, the ground, I had no idea for what was going to be on the ground or how that was going to work or anything like that. Yeah, just putting in just another layer. I don't actually typically do this. I think this is kind of unique, like actually, um, what's unique is, is for me, my, my process, I usually don't draw over it. I think I might've just decided it was just too sketchy, I guess. Um, yeah, here's just me putting a gouache down. If you don't know, I, I'm gonna do, I do this in almost like literally, I wanna say almost all, probably all of my paintings now. You can consider this a painting. It's just it's just getting something behind so you can start painting on it. It's uh, when it's just too sterile. Just the brain just there's no problems for the brain to solve. You're essentially making problems for your brain to solve. And once you put something down, you can kind of like work with that. It's it's kind of like the thing uh, where where somebody comes up with a plan and then everybody can sharpshoot that plan. Um, but before there's a plan, nobody can sharpshoot it because there is no plan. So. Um. And then the dude who made the plan looks like an idiot, but really he's the guy who has, you know, he's the most daring guy, like trying to trying to solve the problem. Yeah, so when I paint, I typically just kind of uh, use a really, it's a hundred opacity, but it's kind of a lighter paint. Like the way I created the brush, it just, I just like to paint over it. I could, I, you, there's a bunch of other ways to do it. Like you can do an overlay mode or not an overlay mode, um, a clipping mask. Sometimes I use that if I'm doing like line art, but I don't typically use it when I'm painting. If you really want to hit those lines up, you can just use overlay, but not really necessary for the way I paint because I'm going to go over most of it anyways or the stuff that doesn't look right to me. Uh, just some color correcting here. 
if you don't do it, you should, um, there's one thing you can do that, um, with these, it's basically a filter. It's like an action. Like you can play with your settings. You probably download a bunch too. I downloaded a couple, but then like after a while you can kind of calibrate, um, make a, make an action, you know, hit play, record your actions, messing with the curves. And then like, once you get one that you kind of know how it works, just keep it and just run with it. Yeah, I just can't figure out how to do the eyes here. I think it's interesting because I think here, I should have finished rendering here, but I know that I, I mess and tweak with the hand and the paw a little bit. And I don't think that's even necessary. I was just trying to add more or like skew the angle a little bit tighter. And it just didn't really work out as, as well. See, if I'm looking at it now, I can kind of see like it's kind of overly angled, but I'm actually, I shouldn't be okay with that, but I'm kind of okay with it because I feel like it's showing motion and I'm not really sure. Maybe there's a real artist out there that can like tell me I'm full of, you know what, and I need to like <laughs> learn how to be more symmetrical, but I think it's okay. Like it's appealing to me. It probably looks really off. If it does, if I can get, if like 50% of the comments say it looks terrible, then yeah, all right, well, we'll solve that. Um, open to suggestions on that one for sure. Um, yeah, you can see, I, I kind of referenced some stages and stuff you can see on the floor. I was trying to make these like tiles, these orange tiles. And then I was like, I don't know, that doesn't really look good. I looked up her stage and I was like, there's not much to work with here. And then, like you can see, like it looks really flat. And I think I fixed that a little bit by just like curving it out, making like a, uh, a lens like a, a fisheye lens, but it just, it doesn't really work. Um, I wish I had that in mind before. And again, like I'm, if you saw the Samus, um, the Zero Suit Samus illustration time-lapse, you'll, you'll know that I, I, it was kind of being deliberate about like the Instagram uh, friendly frame. And I think that's really a mistake. Um, I should go 16 by nine probably, or, or whatever it is, like just whatever, captures it and then go from there instead of having the canvas first so what i'm saying is like sketch thumbnail bring it out and then crop to to whatever you know like you know whatever i want for the image instead of the the reverse i know sometimes you want to give yourself some rules in art just to kind of like streamline or not streamline to just kind of uh, inspire like innovation but i don't know this um I just don't like the square that much. Uh, we'll figure it out though. It's one of those things that like, I think, I mean, in history we've proved, I don't want to say, want to say we've proven, but typically like rectangles look better than squares, which is why I don't know how Instagram is so popular because everything's rectangular. All your monitors are rectangular, papers are rectangular, Pantheon's rectangular, everything's rectangular, buildings, hard drives. Every box I see in here is rectangular. Really anything's ever designed as a square. Um, but yet, that's the way the cookie crumbles when it comes to Instagram, so who knows? Um, I'm adding a lot of highlights here. I kind of like that, why didn't I take that back? I don't think I was daring enough here. Like, I think my lighting cues are getting very similar, even though like, You'll notice that some, like I do start taking a little bit more chances like after this. This was like one of the first ones that I did, I think. I think this was either the very first, no, this was the very first. I almost didn't want to do it, but I was forcing myself to because I figured, you know, 100 characters in 100 days is going to be tough anyways. You're going to get characters you don't want to draw. You might as well draw them early because I feel like near the end I'm going to be better. Like I'll have better skills. Like like this just a, it's just one of those things if you do 100, 100 kicks, you're just going to have a really nasty, front kick, you know what I mean? Like, so um, you do anything a hundred times, it's gonna be great. Like, so I feel like it's okay to do some characters that you don't really like in the beginning. So um, I'm happy to see where it goes from here though. But I think from here, it's just pretty much rendering. Um, like I said, I have, I kind of struggle with the colors, but it, this is pretty much it. So I'm just gonna let this run. Um, yeah, and I'll, See you on their side with the finished product. All right, stay spicy.